What's going on guys, Shane of Rockfile Sound. In today's video, we're gonna be making this hybrid trap lead, and this is what it sounds like. So if you guys like that sound, make sure you click that like button and also click that subscribe button as well. You have no idea how much it helps me out and you're also missing out if you're not subscribed, so why not do that? Anyway, speaking of missing out, Guys, uh, Deflo is actually teaming up with us to release a free serum and sample pack. So if you don't download that, you're missing out. It's at the top of the link, or it's at the top of the description, the link to download that. You know, it's literally a free sample pack and a free serum pack, all of his own sounds, and he's sharing it with you guys. So if you guys aren't familiar with Deflo, he's a really awesome dubstep producer, and if you're not taking advantage of this, you are stupid. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to call you stupid, but you might want to have to get your head checked, all right? Because he's a really awesome dubstep producer and he's actually sharing his own sound. So why not? Let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So really cool sound here. And I actually have a really cool technique I want to show you in this sound. Uh, we're actually going to get into that right now. So first things first, we're going to turn on oscillator A and oscillator B and we're going to be running frequency modulation. So the FM is going to be run off of oscillator A or oscillator B, whatever you choose. I'm going to be running off of oscillator A for this tutorial. So we're going to drop the level down for oscillator B because all the sound is going to be outputted through oscillator A, right? Let's, let's think. Now the warp, we're going to select our FM from B or AKA frequency modulation from B and we're going to be in our modulation. Actually, hold on. Let's make our additions to the oscillator B waveform. So here we are with our basic reversed uh, saw waveform at a 50% phase here. Now that's not what we're really going for. We're going to go for a zero slow period. Well, that's zero. Uh, we're not uh, admitting any frequencies here. Now you're probably saying, uh, Shane, what are you doing, buddy? Hear me out. Uh, what we're going to do here, let's start to turn up the frequency modulation knob. As you can hear, we start to get this little pitch displacement as we turn it up. Now that's actually really cool. I know you could do that by just moving around the course pit, but that's no fun, right? Let's go ahead and just modulate this now. Cause that's really what's going to give us that like uh, middle Eastern little vibrato kind of style sound here um, we're just going to turn it on to our frequency mosh what we're going to turn our lfo number one onto our frequency modulation from oscillator b and we're just going to go ahead and make a little shape like this this is what i did um, just a little something something of this sort uh, we'll turn this on trigger and we'll put the rate to one half oh my gosh that sounds disgusting why does it sound disgusting? We need to turn the voice to one because now we're like playing chords and who the hell needs chords and trap music? Or I mean trap leads, I should say, because you know, every song's got some chords in it. Um, we're just going to leave the portamento all the way down here. So we're not getting a huge pitch drag between every note. Huge difference just by doing that. But as you can see, guys, really kind of interesting technique here. Um, I really wanted to show you guys that it's just kind of fun, you know? Like, why not? I'm just trying to expand and show what you guys can do in Serum. Um, so, anyways, let's move into our flanges. Flanges, uh, we're going to go to our phaser H6 positive. We're actually going to modulate the cutoff backwards. It's all about finding that sweet spot. So anyways, we're gonna turn up the drive. And also the filter variation here. So now we're starting to form more of a vowel-y kind of sound here that really did make the sound sound a lot more mouthy. So now we're gonna go into our compressor, turn on our multi-band. So now we have a multi-compressor on our hands and we're actually going to just kind of make it sound a lot more fuller by just evening out all the frequency here. frequencies here. <clears throat> um, anyways, we're going to turn up this gain. Okay, we're also going to turn on the threshold a little bit. That sounded pretty damn good to me if you ask myself. Um, now we'll turn on our hyper and our dimension. We'll turn on the hyper a little bit. Dimension. Put that bad boy to like 4% and the mix up to like 36, you know, that way we aren't getting that extra 
That sounds disgusting. So we don't want that extra feedback um, from, or that extra tail from the dimension size. So we're gonna leave it at that. Anyways, we'll also go into our phaser. You guys already know the deal with the phaser. If you're been, if you're been, what? That's not proper English. If you've been watching my tutorials, because I do this in like a ton of my tutorials, we're just gonna turn the rate all the way down here turn the depth all the way down here and the frequency all the way down here and the mix we're gonna drop a little bit um, I don't do that in every video I normally have the mix all the way up but here we're gonna be using this to kind of fill in the lower gaps in the lower end here now you can hear the difference it makes it just kind of brings out the lower end a little bit more into the sound uh, finally we're gonna turn on our delay here and this is really just to give it more space we're gonna turn this delay to a short delay we're gonna turn this um, turn on turn off BPM sync and turn on link um, that way we can just move one and it will just uh, the right side here as well um, not just one side of your stereo headphones and we're gonna turn this to uh, we'll say 830 so we have every 8.3 seconds I mean not 8, 8.3 milliseconds I mean sorry my bad um, this sound will keep repeating and we're just going to get this cluster of sounds which just kind of expands the sound altogether so we're going to turn up the feedback so really kind of cool sound here also we can turn up the reverb why not all right so you guys get the idea here super super cool sound very easy if you guys like that sound make sure you guys do me a favor by clicking that like button um, you know clicking that subscribe button well anyways I hope that you saw the new intro it's dope as hell and our new banner and our new logo oh, I'm losing my mind it's just so sick um, so yeah if you guys like this channel you know what to do just click that subscribe button I know you want to well anyways guys I gotta go to hockey tryouts um, wish me luck it's for a very very good team as usual you know your boy uh, let's go ahead and leave